On today's Daily Slab, we are looking at Odell Beckham and his new team. We'll also be covering the releases for the upcoming week and a new Prism release that has the collecting world a little bit up in storm. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's Daily Slab. Welcome everyone to the Daily Slab. I am Nate, and our trender for today is Odell Beckham. So in the last three seasons, Odell has not exactly had the best time of it. He's had under 1,000 yards in those three seasons. He's only caught eight touchdowns in those three seasons. Uh, combined. Combined. Not just individual seasons. Combined. Now, one of the seasons he missed due to an ACL injury, he missed the entire year. So, like, that's a wash. That doesn't count towards his stats. But he also, he didn't put up any stats in that year, last year, 2022. And so, he is looking for a better season this year, which led him to sign with the Ravens despite the fact that he did not get any confirmation from the Ravens or Lamar Jackson that Lamar Jackson would be the QB of the Baltimore Ravens. So kind of a risky signing uh, if that's the case, that Lamar's not going to be there. But what else is risky is that his last two years when he was with the Browns, the Browns were fourth in rushing attempts and seventh in rushing attempts the last two seasons of his tenure there. Now he goes to the Baltimore Ravens, who have finished 7th, 3rd, and 1st in the last three seasons in rushing attempts per year, 7th being 2022 season, 1st being the 2020 season. Um, so it's not like he's going from a run-heavy team to a pass-heavy team that he can try to get a ton of yards with. He's going from a run-heavy team and a brief stop in, in L.A., but he's going from a run-heavy team to now a run-heavy team, and I don't see how that helps him in any w which way or form. You go from you go from complaining about lack of passes to going to a team that is going to just naturally give you a lack of passes. And so we're going to find out what his cards do. Right now you can see on your screen a 2019 Optic Downtown uh, Raw there with him in a Browns jersey. And you can see that that has gone up $90, 81% in the last year, with the last sale being on the 4th of April, which is after or I mean before he signed with the Ravens. So this was somebody buying it, you know, with him being healthy probably and going for another team. Now with him having signed with the Ravens, I am curious what the next sale of this card will do. Will it go up? Because people are excited about the Ravens and him signing with a team for the first time in the year? Or will it go down because of the fit on the field? I don't know yet and uh, I will be keeping track to see if we can find out because I am curious on paper it doesn't look like a great fit but you never know sometimes these things have a way of working out in what's happening we've got our release schedule for this week and it's not as big as last week we had some massive massive releases last week tops dynasty um stuff like that but there are a ton of releases. So last week I did report that there would be Tim Horton's Upper Deck Hockey coming out. I may have been wrong on the date. 17th is actually this Monday. I may have thought it was part of the past week. So that is coming out this Monday. Then you have Revolution Basketball, La Liga Soccer, SP Authentic Hockey, Top Scroll MetaZoo, and Upper Deck uh, Shang-Chi Legends of the Ten Rings cards coming out. It's kind of interesting that those are coming out because that movie came out, what, two years ago? two and a half years ago, unless I'm mistaken, and there's another Shang-Chi movie coming out. These are quite behind uh, for those cards, but cool that they're coming out anyways. I really enjoyed the, of all the new Marvel movies, I've enjoyed the Shang-Chi movie the most, but you got a lot of hockey, um, Meta Zoo, not a ton of, not a ton of big releases on the 19th, and then you've got Bowman Baseball First Edition, which is always a fun one, um, foil-based cards as opposed to uh, the chrome or paper base that you get usually. And then you've got clearly Donruss football and uh, flawless basketball on the 21st. That's a huge one, flawless basketball. That's the biggest release of the week. And then 2023 Tops Archives and 2022 2023 Leaf Optichrome uh, basketball. So a lot of big, or a decent number of big ones today, this week with Bowman first and flawless basketball, but otherwise a lot of little ones as well. So if you're interested in that, go check out your local card shops or online at DA or Blowout or any place like that where you can find cards uh, and happy collecting.
And then in our Instagram post of the day, you can see this Steph Curry Monopoly color blast, I guess you could call it. It looks like a color blast, even though it's like a cloud behind him with the sky. And the reason we bring this up is because the first one sold for $1,325. Bucks. $1,325 bucks for this card. This kind of a color blast, color blast. And let me tell you, the people in the comments are not here of this post. We're not here for the Monopoly set whatsoever. There was a lot of distaste and dislike for Panini trying to put their product wherever they can, including Monopoly. Now, hand up, I do love Monopoly. It's probably my favorite board game. Maybe I'm a sicko for saying that, but it is like my favorite board game. And so I will probably end up buying a box of this Monopoly Maybe throwing it in a closet and letting it marinate for a while and see what happens. But uh, I like the idea, I guess. Personally, for me, I know I'm one of very few that likes the idea. And it's mostly because of my love of Monopoly. If Topps did this with baseball, I'd love it a lot more. But uh, I just like the idea. I, I, Irregardless of the cards, the idea of trading cards and Monopoly, two of my favorite things, combining into one, I like it. So if you like it. Let me know why you like it, and if you hate it, also let me know why you hate it. I know I'm. I can imagine if you hate it, it's because Panini overproducing cards. Uh, there's just a giant Monopoly logo on the card, which is kind of looks silly. Um, so I get it, but let me know in the comments why you hate it or why you like it. Because personally, because of my love of Monopoly, I do kind of like it. I'm not embarrassed to say it either. I know a lot of people will disagree with me. And lastly, if you like hearing my voice or you want to hear Aaron's voice talk about different products different subjects we have our YouTube live tonight on Mondays always on Mondays tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern 3 p.m. Pacific we talk about a myriad of different subjects uh, the subjects always change and we hope that it is educational and somewhat entertaining for you as well so if you want to join in in the comments section and hear what we are talking about tonight you can join us at 6 p.m. Eastern 3 p.m. Pacific for our YouTube live all right thank you everyone for watching today's daily slab and I will talk to you all tomorrow for the next daily slab see you everyone